Hello, my name's Don D. Uh, I'm a user of uh, Serif Web Plus, and you'll find me on the Web Plus forum on the serif.com site. In this tutorial, we're going to look at uh, resizing uh, nav bars. Uh, this was brought about by this comment on the uh, nav bar tutorial I've done. Um, but it says here, um, how do you size the overall nav bar to fit within your layout? For example, can you get a six item nav bar to fit into a 300 pixel wide? So what we're going to do, is as shown here. Here is the default navbar size and here it is made smaller. So if what we're going to do now, these are on a master. Delete those. Right. Now I've set up a, a, a website with six pages as uh, the question asked. All right, here's navbar. I'm going to use block two. Leave everything as it is. OK. There's the warning to say not all is being shown. Here we are. There's a nav bar. As you can see here, I've put markers here for the default size at 100 and then at 630. So you're talking on 530 wide for this nav bar. So what we want to do really is virtually cut it in half. So, double click the navbar, take it into the navbar settings, click appearance, click go into the button designer, here. What we want to do here is look at the, the button size. Make sure that uh, these two are locked. You see, that's unlocked, that's locked. So we're going to halve that. And you'll notice here that we're going to have to change the text. So the text fits onto the new sized buttons. So it's just a matter of dragging them smaller just to fit in between the guides the red guide markers at the edges of the button so that's it you've halved this the width of the uh, half the size of the button resize the text commit changes OK, and that has reduced the size of the navbar. Oops, too small. There we are. Now, the red markers here are between 100 and 400, so that's three, 300 pixels wide. That's very easy isn't it? So you have a go and uh, see what you can do. Okay that's it for this uh, quick one. Thanks very much. Goodbye.